Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we can fix a specific problem that pops up when you're trying to add an outline to an image, a PNG with transparency in Final Cut Pro, so you can get this kind of strange clipping at the edge of the image. I'd also like to encourage everyone, if you are looking to add kind of cool outlines, outline effects to your videos, to check out the new Outliner effects from BrettFX. Super cool plugin, really nicely made, lots of options and animations, and a very cool plugin to check out. But let's jump in and have a look at how we fix this issue that can pop up when we're adding outlines to our PNG images within Final Cut Pro. So as you can see from this PNG I've got placed on the timeline here, if we zoom in a little bit to 400%, you can see at the edge of my PNG image here, we highlight that, you can see basically the outline is cropping. So as I increase and decrease the outline width there, we're cropping off at the edge of the, the PNG. So if we hit the transform controls, you can see that's actually the kind of physical edge of the image that we have here in Final Cut Pro. So I'm gonna jump back to fit here. We'll delete this layer and we'll start right from the top. So we're gonna add the PNG and then set this up so that we fix that issue of the outline cropping. So we've got our laptop image up at the top left here in our library. I'm gonna drag this down to the timeline. And basically, we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. We'll use the transform controls to do that. And we'll just come in from the edge there and we'll leave it in the center, but we can reposition this if we need to. And then basically turning off the transform controls, what we're gonna do is turn this into a compound clip. So basically this is what's gonna fix that cropping off of the outline when we add it. So if we go to file, new and compound clip, we'll call this laptop clip, click okay. And so now when we actually come to add our outline, we're not gonna get that cropping at the edge. So we'll come to our effects here. We are using the Brett FX power tools. Um, and there's a free outliner in the Power Tools Lite version of that plugin, which is super cool, along with a couple of other neat little plugins. So we can drag that onto our timeline. And you can see right from the, the get-go here, as we increase and decrease the width of that outline, we don't have any cropping at the edge. So just to illustrate the, the difference here, if we trim that down, if we come up and add our original laptop image and transform this down, and then add our outline, you can see we're getting that cropping, but the compound clip repairs that. So that's how to add an outline um, in Final Cut Pro, and then also how to kind of fix this issue that pops up when you're working with a PNG, which will often be when you're working with a logo or something like that in Final Cut Pro. We have some pretty cool options in the Power Tools outline here. If we highlight our clip here, we can change the distance of the outline, so we can have this kind of stepping away from our outline. We can add more than one outline. So if we add a second outline here, you can see we can choose a, a kind of different color, have those combining together in some kind of interesting ways and so on and so forth. So we can really kind of play around with this nicely, have some nice effects happening as we modify and work with our outline. And then obviously avoiding that cropping issue, which will happen again if we kind of add multiple outlines here too, so you can see we're getting multiple cropped outlines. And by wrapping up into a compound clip, so file, new, and compound clip after we've added our PNG to the timeline, that will stop any of this cropping happening as we're adding those outlines. So I hope this is a useful solution if you are working with outlines on your PNGs and you're getting that strange cropping effect. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.